All right, YouTube Axis and Allies brethren, welcome back to the tour in Goldsboro, North Carolina, where we are getting ready to do Russia's round one turn in this Axis and Allies 1914 World One edition. We've already had the um, Austria-Hungary turn done by LT. Um, <clears throat> this game is matching uh, LT playing Austria-Hungary. Uh, Sam Kenny playing Germany, uh, Private Joe playing Russia, Captain Jack playing France and the Brits, Corporal Panda playing the Ottoman Empire, Private Joe playing Italy, and Lieutenant Land playing the U.S. So, for purchase and repair units phase of this turn sequence for Russia, they are going to produce five infantry for 15, one artillery for four, and one fighter for six. And that totals 25 IPCs. So that will be their production for this round. All right, so um, just wanted to point out, I'm sorry I didn't point out on the first segment, but uh, uh, I'll be doing this turn for uh, Private Joe tonight. He's not feeling well. Um, he wrote down his moves for me, um, so I'll be conducting this turn for him. Um, and he's usually my videographer, so I'm going to be uh, trying to do it all tonight. I know most of you guys do it that way anyway, but I'm used to having uh, I'm used to having a little bit of help. But uh, anyway, so bear with me if I'm not perfect at it. All right, so what we've got here is. The first move is going to be three infantry and two artillery are going to come from Sevastopol into Mesopotamia. So there will be a battle done there. Second, two infantry from the Ukraine are going to move into Romania and activate the six ground units in the territory of Romania. Five infantry and one artillery. One infantry is going to move from Finland down to Livonia. The one infantry is going to move from Karelia into Poland. If I can get him to stand up, into Poland. Three infantry and two artillery are going to move from Livonia into Poland. Sorry, I have to let you on that. Six infantry and two artillery are going to move from Belarus into Poland. So the six infantry here and the two artillery are going to move into Poland. I'll chip all this out by the time I do my uh, recap. All right. Turning the page here. Three infantry and one artillery are going to come from Moscow into the Ukraine. And so I'm going to signify, I'm already out of uh, infantry units, so I'm going to signify that with the three chips here. So three infantry and one artillery from Moscow into Ukraine. Three infantry and one artillery from the Moscow, from Moscow into Poland. Again, these are Private Joe's instructions. I'm just following his instructions here. So, Two infantry are going to move from Tartistan into Sevastopol. We're also going to have one infantry and one artillery are going to move from Tartistan into the Ukraine. So that'll be another infantry unit here. It's one infantry and one artillery uh, into the Ukraine from Tartistan. Yes, okay. And we've got one infantry from Kazakhstan over here. It's going to move 
into the Ukraine. And one last move, we've got a sea battle that's gonna happen. The two Russian cruisers in Sea Zone 21 are gonna move into Sea Zone 20 and attack the two cruisers and uh, the two um, Ottoman Empire cruisers there. They'll have, to, um, they'll have to avoid the sea mines first and then there'll be a 50-50 even battle after that if they um, are able to survive. So that's all the combat and non-combat movements for, the, for Imperial Russia on this turn. So next up, we'll set up the battle for Mesopotamia um, and go from there. All right, guys, so we've got the battle board set up for the Battle of Mesopotamia. There are five Russian uh, ground units on the board, um, or in the territory. So we've got one infantry attacking alone, we've got two infantry attacking with the artillery support, and we've got two artillery. So we'll go ahead and roll these four dice. Um, we're looking for um, three hits at three or less. So here is the roll. And there is three hits. There's a three, three, and a two. All right. So three hits. That will take care of the, I uh, won't even have to roll the last dice, uh, last die. That'll take care of the Ottoman Empire units there, but they do get to roll and defend. And all three of these get to roll at a defense value of three or less. Left a dice in. There. All right, so here we go. And two hits by the Ottomans with a one and a three. All right, so going back over to the battle board, we'll take the Ottomans off. And we will take two infantry off for the Russians. All right, so now we'll take this explosion marker off because that um, territory is not contested anymore. We will move the Russians up three spaces from 25 to 28. And we will move the Ottomans down from 16 to 13. All right. So that was that battle there. And we'll also take a Russian round nail and place it over the Ottoman round nail. All right. So the only other battle we've got is the sea battle here. So let me go back to the dice board for that. All right, so for the two Russian cruisers uh, attacking in Sea Zone 20, the two Ottoman cruisers, this is the role for the sea mines. Um, a, a cruiser will be destroyed on a hit of one, uh, a hit of one or less. Here's the role. And there are no ones, there's two, two threes though. All right, so the Russian cruiser survived the sea mines. Now they're gonna attack and they attack at three or less, so here's their row. They're looking for two hits. Uh, and they got one hit with a two and one miss with a five. All right, so the Ottoman cruisers get to fire back. And they're looking for hits at three or less. And they were both misses, two fives. So. All right, so the two Russian cruisers will press on against the one remaining Ottoman cruiser. And here is the roll, looking for one hit. And they got it. There's a three, and the other was a four. All right, so one Ottoman cruiser returning fire, looking for a hit of three or less. And it was a miss, a roll of five. So wow, 50-50 battle really turned into uh, in the direction of the, the Russians. There's two Russian cruisers survived the sea mines and destroyed both Ottoman cruisers. All right, so I'll take that back to the board and take these Ottoman cruisers off the board. That's good, they were gonna be a nuisance. 
Now, I believe we are done with we're done with all the combat. So now, what I'll do is chip out some of these some of these uh, clogged up spaces over here, and uh, we'll come back and do a unit recap um, and mobilize the new units. Well, actually, we'll go ahead and mobilize the new units now. We've got um, everything, of course, going into the territory of Moscow. We've got, uh, that would be five infantry, one artillery, and one fighter. All right, so I'll come back and do the unit recap and collect income in just a second. All right, guys, so for the collect income portion of this turn, uh, Russia is on 28, so they will collect uh, 28 IPCs. So we'll go across here and do that. There's 20 and five, and then they'll get one, two, three more. So they'll have 28 IPCs to spend on the next turn. So for the unit recap, we've got one Dreadnought, Russian Dreadnought in Season 12. We've got one Infantry in Livonia. We've got one Artillery, five Infantry, and one Fighter in Moscow. In Poland, there are seven Artillery, and there are 19 infantry. In the Ukraine, there are nine infantry and four artillery. In Romania, there are seven infantry and one artillery. In Sebastopol, there are two infantry. In Sea Zone 20, there are two cruisers. In Mesopotamia, there is one infantry and two artillery. So that will do it here from the turret tonight. Um, I think when Private Joe finds out tomorrow what uh, how his Russian turn turned out, I think he'll be very pleased. Um, got some. Uh, Got some good, uh, good rolls there on those battles. Um, don't know how much that'll continue because <laughs> we're not used to that. Uh, not going up against LT and the uh, and Corporal Panda. So anyway, so from the turret in Goldsboro, North Carolina, Captain Jack, over and out.